What's up everybody, Alex from Twin Gaming TV back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today we're going to be drafting a Battle Royale team and as you can probably tell we're attempting to draft an all switch hitting team. This is something I did in MLB 16 but I have not done yet in MLB 17 so I really really want to try and draft an all switch hitting team. In yesterday's video I asked you guys for the common question of the day to try and guess my favorite type of chip and I kind of have two favorites because they're super different. So if you guessed Flamin' Hot Cheetos, Flamin' Hot or Takis, you got it correct man. Flamin' Hot and Takis are both both like my favorite type of chip. I love spicy food and those are both some nice spicy chips However, they just they kind of have like super different tastes like one is more kind of like a lime like Nice flavor and the flame and hot are just kind of more of a your typical spicy flavor for today's common question of the day I want you guys to try and guess down below if I could choose one legend any MLB player to ever play the game To have in MLB 18 the show I'm gonna be the show 18 if I could choose one player to have as a new legend next year in MLB the show 18 who would it be? Try and guess that down below for a chance at tomorrow's comment shout out of the day. And before we get into this draft, man, I need you guys to destroy uppercut, left hook, right hook, pile driver, the like button again today, man. I want you guys to go crazy. So you see that 1995 Griffey? We're going for 195 likes, you know. 1,995 might be a lot, but 195 for that postseason Griffin. Give us the luck to go 12 and 0 and get this card, man. Destroy the like button. Again, try and guess down below who I would want to have in MLB The Show 18 as a new legend. And then subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to 11,000 subscribers. Let's draft this team, man. Let's go flawless here in October. All right, let's draft this team. Switch hitter, come on. No, dude. No switch hitter in the diamond round. That kind of sucks. So we're just going to have to go Raleigh Fingers here. I really wanted a diamond switch hitter. Uh, that means I get to try out the rally fingers though. So that's kind of good uh, Starting pitcher. You know what? We're just gonna go. We're gonna go switch hitter right here Just because I feel like switch hitters might be hard to come by if we get another catcher There's a switch hitter in like a, a bench round we can always try and replace them But I really just want to try and get as many Switch hitters as possible just because you know, I don't want to be in a spot where it's like, oh No, there's no switch hitters in this round and I, I still need another one So I think it's gonna be okay that we drafted two common switch hitters another Diamond round and another round without a switch hitter. So now we have a diamond lefty reliever and a diamond righty reliever I guess we have a good bullpen Coco crisp a pretty beast switch hitter our switch hitter so far are two commons and uh, a bronze. That's not what I was looking for. But now we get to use the common round on a starting pitcher. And no switch hitter again. Gonna go ahead and just do Sean Tolleson. I don't really want to draft any more relief pitchers. But, like, I'm gonna have to. If it keeps giving me bronze rounds with no switch hitters. Another. Oh, a silver round. For some reason, I thought it was a, a common. Okay, a silver round. No switch hitter. Why is it so hard to come but like are there no silver switch hitters, you know, like it's it seems like it's been really okay Just as I'm saying it there we go. So uh, Carlos Beltran's a beast. I kind of went down here with Solarte because he plays a lot of positions uh, But dude Carlos Beltran's like one of the best switch hitters in the game uh, Especially for his 99 one, but even his silver one is a monster. So we're definitely gonna get him there And now we got a gold round switch hitter. Come on. No, dude. No switch hitter. Oh, what do I do here? I don't know what to do here. Like, do I go the starting pitcher and or do I go one of these and hope I can replace the guy with a switch hitter? I think I'm going to have to do the starting. I'm going to do the starting pitcher here for our gold round. Our first gold round and we're wasting it on a starting pitcher. That's sad, man. That, that's not what I wanted to do. Josh Edgen, we're going to have to do him, I think. Uh... I do need a lefty. I need another lefty reliever. We might not get one. So, you know, there we go. Switch hitter. No switch hitter. Dude, what is going on? We're going to get Masahiro Tanaka. Masahiro Tanaka. Uh, he just had an amazing, I think, 15 strikeouts a couple days ago, man. So, that's pretty crazy. Switch hitter. Dude, give me a switch hitter. What is going on? Why are there no switch hitters? Okay, there we go. That's good. Can tell Marte. We're, we're only on, like, we only have position players left to draft. And now I just need switch hitters. No switch hitter. I feel like, okay, this guy plays the most positions, so he's going to be the easiest to replace, I feel like, with a switch hitter. Give me switch hitters game. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Pablo Sandoval. Okay, six. So, how many switch hitters? We have five rounds to go, and we need one, only two switch hitters. Okay, sweet. We got a switch hitter right here. He plays first base. We have a first baseman to replace. There we go. We need one switch hitter, and he needs to play outfield. Look at that, Jan Harris Solarte, dude. Awesome. We got all switch hitters. There we go. Okay. Uh, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And I'm just going to let you guys in on a little secret if, if you've made it this far into the video. 
You might have noticed that my stubs are different from when I was doing the intro. You know, it's a lot. It's like 3,000 lower instead of 1,500. I drafted a team and we had like four spots that weren't switch hitters. So that's why I thought it was going to be super hard. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to quit on the two games and draft a team again. Maybe I'll end up getting switch hitters. And look at that, man. We did. We're going to get another outfielder. We can replace uh, probably Coco Crisp, I think. Yeah, Coco Crisp. Uh, we'll replace him. You know, we got Dexter Fowler. Go Cardinals. So that's pretty sick. We got a gold round left. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that this isn't our last round. We still have a gold round left. Sick. Okay, we still have a gold round left. Just going to get the guy with the most vision, I guess. Or Yeah, we'll, we'll just get James Loney. Whatever. We got a gold round. Our final round. Give me a switch hitter. No switch hitter, but we got a diamond. We got a diamond, so we'll go Charlie Blackman. Uh, I guess he's, he's a beast. You know, I think he broke the record for most... RBIs by a leadoff hitter. So Charlie Blackman, pretty dope. I wish he was a switch hitter, but it's okay that he's not. Uh, Dexter Fowler going to go ahead and put him in center field. I think Jan Harris plays left field. Yeah, he does. So we'll put him out on, on left field there. And then does Coker Chris happen to play shortstop? No. Does any, do any of these guys play shortstop? He does. Jan Harris selected a six, so we'll put him at shortstop. And then uh, we'll put in Coker Crisp in left field. Actually, let's let's make our center fielder the one with the most speed. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my camera was it wasn't over here. Whoop! Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the lineup for you guys, and then go over it for you. <laughs> All right, I think I have the lineup made. So we're leading off Dexter Fowler because, you know, that you go, we go. Then Jan Harris Salarte, Carlos Beltran, Pablo Sandoval, Kenny's Vargas, Cattell Marte, Coco Chris, followed by Thomas Tellis. You know, I wanted to make the lineup, so it went switch, 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 switch. So, you know, I think it's a pretty good lineup. I really hope we can do well with the all switch hitting team. It's not like the best switch hitters we could have gotten. Obviously, you know, there's diamond switch hitters, there's gold switch hitters, and we didn't get any of those. But uh, we got Charlie Blackman on the bench. We got two diamond relievers one lefty one righty and then you know we got a uh, gold in the bullpen so i'm hoping this team can do well if you guys have any suggestions you want me to move stuff around definitely let me know i i kind of just want i feel like the best hitters i wanted my best hitter batting third i feel like i, I would do the best with him and i just kind of want best to worst so let me know what you think about this lineup let me know if you think i should make changes leave a like if you enjoyed the video we're going for 195 likes on this video man if you guys can do that that'd be absolutely crazy for you and give us that good luck to go 12 and 0 and get that 1995 195 ken griffey jr subscribe if you're new we're on the road to 11,000 subscribers and then down in the comment section below again try and guess try and comment for the comment question of the day the question is who is the legend that i would want to see added most of all to mlb the show 18 the, the legend i would want added most whatever I, I i don't know the best way to word it but like the, the legend i would want to see most i would want to see most in mlb the show 18 i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this draft i'll see you tomorrow peace out so this is something that i did a little bit during the summer i didn't do it in every video by any means or anything like that but occasionally at the end of videos i would just kind of talk talk about a few things that are on my mind things that i wanted to say things that aren't like super important but just you know like i wanted to mention it in a video but like maybe people didn't care about it and uh, I mean, it's not that people don't care, but like the first thing is, man, just seriously, thank you guys so much for all the support recently. We're about to hit, I think, 10,200 subscribers. I didn't expect to be anywhere close to this, like at this point. I think my goal that I set for myself was like 10,000 by the end of the year, and that was back on around June 1st when I started my daily uploads. Now it is October 1st, so you know it's one, two, three. Uh, July, August, September. Okay, it's like four months later, man. Like, it's been a long time. It's like four months later of daily uploads. And, you know, I just, I did not expect to be at 10,000. Um, we, we were, I don't even know. Yeah, I just checked and we were at like 4,400 subscribers. And I, didn't, I did not expect to be, you know, almost like 6,000 more than that at this point. I was really hoping to just like by the end of the year, buy january 1st 2018 that's when i wanted to have hit 10,000 subscribers by and we've already killed that man and uh, i do have like goals i have personal goals kind of set in mind for where i want to be at you know at january 1st now uh when mlb 18 comes out by the end of 2018 you know like i have goals that i'm trying to reach uh, but honestly, I, like, I'm just happy with anything. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for the support recently. Like, you guys have been killing it with the likes. You've been killing it with the comments. I love doing the question every day. I think you guys really enjoy 
answering that as well. I think it's a lot of fun. It gets like kind of interaction between you guys. And like I said, I've said this in a lot of videos. I do read every single comment. Like, you know, sometimes you'll ask me a question and I don't reply. So you, you might be like, oh, he didn't read it. But like, I, I read every comment. It's just sometimes I don't reply to him because I, I forget. I'm like, oh, I need to answer that. And then I just don't. I just continue scrolling through the comments and reading it. But I do read literally like every single comment on the videos. And I really need to start replying to more, especially the ones that ask questions that I can help with and stuff like that. But if you think that I don't read your comments like you got the question right and it wasn't to be like I do see your comments I can't include every single right answer every single time and stuff uh, but I do read every single comment man seriously so thank you guys for that like I've been noticing all the support the subs the likes the comments just everything I've been noticing that and uh, it's just been awesome man so seriously thank you guys so much for that couldn't do it without you I'll see you guys in the next video though I've probably talked enough I just kind of wanted to mention that like thank you guys and then also talk about you you guys are just you guys have killed him man I did not expect to be at this point at this point in time and you guys have been absolutely killing them man so thank you and peace out